Hey guys, here's a video going through some of the homework problems um, dealing with our first experience in transformations of functions. For problem 18, uh, we're given the graph of f of x, and we're asked to find the graph of f of x minus 1. What this means is that we're taking f of x, the y value, and we're subtracting each point by 1. Negative 4 comma 0 would become negative 4 comma negative 1. Negative 2, negative 2 would become negative 2, negative 3. 0, 0 would become 0, negative 1. 2, 2 would become 2, 1. And 4, 0 would become 4, negative 1. When I connect those points, I get a graph that looks the same, but it's been shifted down by one unit over the course of the graph. For number 22, we've got g of x is equal to f of x plus 1 minus 2. Here we've got two transformations. The first is x plus 1 means that each point is going to move left 1. Minus 2 at the end means that each point is going to move down 2. Let's start with 4 comma 0, or negative 4 comma 0. So negative 4 comma 0, left 1, down 2, would become negative 5 comma negative 2. Negative 2 comma negative 2, left 1, down 2, would become negative 3 comma negative 4. 0, 0, left 1, down 2, would become negative 1, negative 2. 2, 2, left 1, down 2, would become 1, 0. And 4, 0, left 1, down 2, would become 3, negative 2. Connecting those. We get a graph that's the same exact shape, but it's been shifted one unit to the left and down two. For 24, uh, we've got g of x is equal to f of negative x. If I put negative 1x. Uh, we know that for x things we have to do the opposite of what's on the inside. So instead of multiplying by negative 1, I'm going to take each x coordinate and divide by negative 1. Okay? Uh, negative 4 comma 0 is going to become positive 4 comma 0. Uh, negative 2, negative 2 is going to become positive 2, negative 2. 0, 0 is going to become 0, 0. 2, 2 is going to become negative 2 comma 2. And 4, 0 is going to become negative 4, comma, 0. Let's plot these points. So we're looking at 4, 0. Okay, that's there. Uh, 2, negative 2 is going to be like there. 0, 0. Negative 2, 2. And negative 4, 0. If I graph this... Uh, and because the shape has a certain kind of symmetry, it looks like we flipped it upside down. Um, but in reality, negative on the inside, negative being multiplied by the x, gives this a horizontal reflection. So we're really taking these points and switching them to the left side, and the points to the left, moving them to the right side of the x-axis. For number 30, uh, we're looking at g of x is equal to f of 1 half x. Okay, and in looking at this problem, again, we know that anything that is on the inside, the opposite is going to happen. So we're going to take each x coordinate and divide them by a half. In other words, each x coordinate is going to be multiplied by 2. 
uh, negative 4 comma 0 would become negative 8 comma 0. Negative 2 comma negative 2 would become negative 4 comma negative 2. 0, 0 would stay 0, 0. 2, 4 would become, I'm sorry, 2, 2 would become 4 comma 2. And 4 comma 0 would become 8 comma 0. I'd like you to notice this is the same graph, but it is twice as wide as the original graph. For number 77, we've got a couple parts here. Uh, the first is that we have to graph the square root of x. Uh, that's going to be a half parabola that I'm going to include a couple points on, 0, 0. I'll include 1, 1, and 4, 2. It's going to keep going on forever, but those are the only three points I'm going to look at. Then I need to look at my transformation. Uh, this kind of, in fact, by kind of, I mean exactly, is the same thing as saying f of x plus 2 minus 2. This is the inside of my function. This is the outside of my function. So this really means that we're going left 2 and down 2. Okay, uh, 0, 0, left 2, down 2 would become negative 2, negative 2. 1, 1, left 2, down 2 would become negative 1, negative 1. 4, 2, left 2, down 2 would become 2, 0. If I draw that sketch, same curve but shifted 2 to the left and 2 down. 137 to 140 ask about a uh, thermostat. I'm just going to talk about 138, uh, which asks, if you wanted to keep the house 5 degrees colder, would you then do f of t minus 5? Um, we know that the y values would be down 5 for this. Since the y values are in degrees, this would indeed be 5 degrees cooler my graph would look something like this, where it's 5 below the original graph. Um, 39 and 40 ask the same thing, but moving the x direction. And you have to figure out if the graph would move right or left, and what effect that would have on the time.